tons and tons of uh, diseases can be either controlled or completely healed, uh, cured, if you uh, bind a specific protein, take it out of the cycle. You need to know whether binding is strong or weak, because if the binding between the prospective drug and the protein which it targets is weak, uh, they will not stay together and the, this inhibitor will just not uh, achieve its purpose of binding this protein and uh, removing it from the cycle of the cell. So you have to have selectivity, you have to have strong bonding to harmful proteins and uh, a weak bonding to benign ones. Well, the problem is that you have to simulate the systems accurately in order to understand if it binds it well or not. And you can do it experimental, which of course people are doing. It costs more time and effort. We're doing this computationally, so we do not require any wet lab equipment. It's, it's cheaper, it's faster. So we are trying to build a bridge between the exact physical science and what your computers are capable of today. Our research is funded by a grant from the National Institute of Health. They recognize the importance of uh, accurately calculating energies of these protein ligand interactions. They recognize that what we are doing uh, is in fact building physical tools and coding them as a software to, to run the simulations. Most of the techniques which exist now assume that molecules just move once and they stay like this forever. So we're working on a polarizable techniques where electrons can shift constantly and they can move from one atom to another. This gives more flexibility and more flexibility usually leads to higher accuracy of calculations.